Georges Diaz. The purpose of this article is to help students in GCSE Spanish describing a photo. The phrases and structures that I'm going to go through in a minute will help you get your description up and running. They are simple and easy to remember block phrases which can be committed to memory. It means that you will be able to get your description up and running without having to think too hard. And in the pressure of the exam, that's really important. That you know one or two phrases and that you are confident that you can get up and running without too much difficulty. So let's have a look at those phrases. On the left hand side, we have the phrases in Spanish. And on the right hand side, we've got the phrases in English. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through them. Let's go. Para empezar. Para empezar. Which means to start off with. En la imagen. En la imagen. In the image. Of course, really useful. You've got the photo in front of you, so you're going to say para empezar or en la imagen. Or we've got a third alternative here, en la foto. En la foto obviously means in the photo. Now, once we've got that over and done with, so we've introduced para empezar, we've then talked a little bit about either in la imagen, en la foto. We've got a whole range, we've got three or five options here. So hay a key word, I'm sure that you know this word, but it's key. It means there is or there are. Hay. And then we can see we've got puedo ver. Puedo ver. And puedo ver means I can see. Puedo from the verb poder, to can or to be able. And the verb ver meaning to see. So puedo ver. Then underneath we've got se puede ver you or one can see and this is a nice alternative to puedo ver so se puede ver next one down we've got la foto muestra la foto muestra the photo shows of course notice that la foto although this is ending in o it is la because in fact it's short for la fotografia. So la foto muestra, the photo shows. And this is a present tense, but this last one here adds a level of complication and sophistication into what you're saying. So la foto fue sacada en, the photo was taken in. And of course, this is the past tense. We've got fue from our friend Ser, meaning to be, so la foto fue, the photo was, sacada, sacar una foto, to take a photo, sacada, it's got an A on the end, because it's agreeing with foto, so put that all together as a nice block phrase, la foto fue sacada en, the photo was taken in. Well, I hope you found that useful. There'll be one or two more in this particular series. And as you can see, I put together a little word cloud. And there it is with all of the information there or the little individual block phrases that I've just used. So I hope you found that useful. Hasta pronto, amigos míos. If you found that video useful, you might like to consider subscribing to the channel. And there are going to be two or three more videos on the photo topic coming shortly. Hasta pronto, amigos míos.